Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about a major winter storm for the central United States. Again, the kind of area that we had a winter storm just a few days ago. I think it was winter storm Bruce, actually. This one's just a little bit further north, and I think this one will actually be a little bit more major. So we're going to get right into that. That purple area there on the left, I want to mention, that's mountain snow. It's really hard to draw out all the snow totals for the mountain areas, and it's not very populated. Mountain areas will most likely get about 12 inches from this one, or approach 12 inches. Some areas probably more, and then low-lying areas are more like 1 to 3 inches. So that's what that area kind of is for, you know, most of that entire area. Uh, and then we have our snowfall forecast here. Again, I want to mention down in the bottom right-hand corner, snowfall starts tomorrow and lasts through the 3rd of December. Now, people were really confused about the timeline on my video, so I wanted to kind of clear that up and make that a little bit more uh, viewable and, and you guys actually able to interpret what I'm trying to say. So this will hopefully... hopefully uh, help everybody understand the timeline of everything and also on the top right corner we can see valid December 3rd That's when this will snowfall map. We will see if it's correct or not all that snow will have fallen now I don't think this winter storm is named it would be uh, Carter It would be winter storm Carter if it was named but I tried to look into it and I don't think this one was named Carter So this is just going to be titled major winter storm now we have one to three inches basically from all of Montana Wyoming down into the northeastern portions of Colorado into northern Kansas and then into a little bit of Missouri there and a little bit of Iowa into Wisconsin and the upper peninsula there of Michigan and some portions of Minnesota, South Dakota, North Dakota, things like that. Then we get our heavier band here three to six inches in that light lightest shade of blue. And that's going to extend all the way from Wisconsin all the way up to Montana. And then we have our 6 to 10 region. This is where things get kind of iffy. And on our very western side, you'll notice on that Montana, Wyoming, and some of those portions in South Dakota of that 6 to 10, which is our second darkest shade of blue or our middle shade of blue there that you can see. It is kind of lower confidence we're, we're looking at bands to possibly spread into that area and bring heavier snow but it could either happen and bring a lot more snow than this or it could not happen at all and i'm kind of taking the middle ground on that so this could either be you know giving you guys more like 10 to 15 inches or maybe that 6 to 10 spreading all the way to the canada border or it could be you know more in that three to six barely hitting six in a lot of those areas so that that area is kind of uh, a little bit more iffy and then we have our more where our storm track is going to spread or move underneath and head east i'm a little bit more confident in that eastern front of that six to ten inch range that could be a little bit more though uh obviously it could vary but that southern minnesota and northern iowa area i'm quite confident in and it could spread into wisconsin right now i'm not really confident in that though uh, but don't be surprised if some areas get six inches in Wisconsin as well. And then we get our very heavy area. This is where that low pressure system is going to kind of turn. You can see where just by the way the snowfall map is shaped that it's going to kind of do a U-shaped movement here. It's going to head south then east, then north again. And where we get that most coverage, because obviously it's going to slow down and, and bring some of those areas uh, longer amounts of snow there in Nebraska and South Dakota, uh, being in the middle of that movement. This is how we get a lot of major snowstorms and, and some of the historic blizzards here for the central United States is from a, a turning of the low pressure system, bringing more hours of snow, obviously. Now, this spells major snowstorm to me, and that's why I'm kind of on the upper end of things here, uh, as opposed to other forecasters. I'm on the upper side of things. And I, I like 10 to 15 inches here for most of Nebraska, or about half of it, that northeastern side mostly, and then that very southern portion of South Dakota and a little bit of Iowa. And I'm even putting in a 15 to 20 inch region in the middle of that. This, wherever that mixing line where you're not getting any rain mixing in or sleet, uh, just north of that is where I think we will get the heaviest amount of snow. And I think a lot of areas will get above 15 inches in this one. That's why I put the 15 to 20. I don't see many people approaching 20 inches but i think a lot of people will get above 15 inches with this one i this one really spells major snowstorm to me major major snowfall so that's why i'm going on the upper end of things the turning of the low pressure system spells it out to me and, and going based off of history and everything that i know in the past uh this this again spells 15 to 20 inches for that purple area that you see in there kind of that black color is the, again the 10 to 15 and then that purple is 15 to 20 inches that's where the bullseye looks to set up right there in the central region of nebraska that could be moved but i think it's going to be somewhere there in the kind of northeastern portion of nebraska anyway i hope everybody stays safe and has a great weekend i'll see you guys in the next video